hello friends today our topic is process control system so what is control system the control system the output and input are interrelated in such a manner that the output quantity or variable is controlled by input quantity then such a system is called control system you can see there is control system it has one input and it is giving output according to the input as you can see we can control the water of a uh, tank with the control valve so this is called a control system what are the different types of control system there are two different types of control system open open loop control system in the open loop control when the amount of output is don't change the amount of input so there is no feedback from output to the input here you can see input is going to the controller and the controller is changing the process so the output is changed but no feedback is used there is a closed loop control system the closed loop control system provides feedback from the correction output amount so as to maintain the desired output to the system in closed loop system we use the feedback some amount of output is used as a feedback to the controller so input is change according to the output changes what is feedback in control system the control system feedback in one where the output is sampled and the proportional signal is returned to the input for automatic error correction for further processing to return the acquired output as i told you in the previous slide we use some feedback to control the input what are the different types of controller proportional controller it is device that produce control signal which is proportional to the input error signal as the input error is great the output will be higher if the error is less the output will be low so this is the proportional control system the output is proportional to the input here you can see a pid it is abbreviation of proportional integral and derivative so in the only proportional you can see its graph there is much variation because as the output changes accordingly input changes so there is a much variation disturbance proportional control is simple good for small capacities stable when set up rapid response offset at steady state easy to tune these are the properties of proportional now we will see pi controller it is the device that produce a two term control signal one proportional to error signal and other proportional to the integral of error signal the third is pd controller pd controller is a proportional plus derivative controller so we will see what is the pi and what is the pid graph here you can see it is the proportional and the integral you can see in the graph now the variation is less because of the integral function because it reduces the variation in the output signal proportional plus integral no offset better response time than reset alone p and i can reduce the stability of the loop the gain may need to be reduced when reset is added so if we will now we will see proportional and derivative signal here you can see there is a little variation but less than the proportional and more than the proportional and integral so this is between the both now we will see pid pid controller is proportional plus derivative and integral controller p for proportional i for integral and d for derivative it uses all three terms here you can see there is very smooth output and variation is almost nil so pid is preferred on only pi pd or the simple p 
PID is best for all. Proportional plus reset plus rate. It has the quantity that it is most complex, most expensive, rapid response, no offset, difficult to tune, best control if properly tuned. Here I have shown you the proportional wave and the integral and the derivative. You can see the difference between when we use only proportional, when we use proportional with integral and when we use PID. What is the disadvantage in the proportional controller? It produces a constant steady state error because it is changing the input with the change in the output so there is a steady error. Why the derivative controller is not used in control system? The derivative controller produces control measures depending on the rate of change in the error signal and produces no corrective signal for any constant error. So in this way our error will not be constant. What is order of a system? The order of a model is the order of the system regulating differential equation. The system order can be acquired from a specified systems transfer function. This is also a term for the control system which is called order of system. What is sync and source? Source is the input node in the signal flow graph and only branches are going outside. Syncing is an output node in the signal flow graph and has only the nodes going inside. What is time response of control system? The control system's time response is described as a function of time as the output of the closed loop system. The system's time response can be acquired by solving the system's differential equation or time response. So we can get the time response with the differential equation or with the time response. What is the effect of positive feedback on the stability? Positive feedback is usually not used in the controller system as it increases instability in the error signal and drive scheme. In minor loop control schemes, however, positive feedback is used to amplify certain error. What is the necessary condition for stability? All the coefficient of the characteristic polynomial be positive. So if we want the stability, the polynomial P should be positive. List out the different frequency domain specification. Resonant peak, the maximum value of the magnitude of closed loop transfer function is called resonant peak. Resonant frequency, the frequency at which resonant peak occur is called resonant frequency. So these are the specification of the frequency domain in the control system here you can see on the top side resonant peak and the frequency where resonant peak is occurred is called the resonant frequency what is frequency response a frequency response is a system steady reaction when the system input is a sinusoidal signal so if the input is sinusoidal, the frequency response is a steady reaction of that input signal. What is bandwidth? The bandwidth is the frequency range for which the system gain is more than 3 dB. The bandwidth is a measure of the feedback system's capacity to reproduce the input signal, the feature of noise rejection and rises time. So we can define cutoff rate. The cutoff rate is called the slope of the log magnitude curve near the cutoff. The cutoff frequency shows the capacity to distinguish between the signal and the noise. Now I will show you the frequency domain specification. Here you can see resonant frequency, resonant peak bad width and the cutoff rate these are the frequency domain specifications define gain margin 
Gain margin is defined as the reciprocal of the magnitude of open loop transfer function at phase cross over frequency. The next is what is phase margin? It is the amount of phase lag at the gain cross over frequency required to bring system to the verge of instability. So this is called phase margin. What is board plot? The system transfer function frequency response plot. There are two graphs in a board plot. One is the plot of magnitude of sinusoidal transfer function versus log w. The other is plot of sinusoidal function state. As you can see a board diagram. As you can see the phase and the magnitude. So we have both. What is Nicholas chart? The chart consisting if m and n log in the log magnitude versus phase diagram is called Nicholas chart. What is a compensator? A device inserted into the system for the purpose of satisfying the specification is called as a compensator. So this is used to compensate the system. What is signal flow graph? It is a diagram representing a collection of algebraic equations simultaneously by taking LT the time domain differential equation governing a control system can be transferred to set of the algebraic equation in S domain. So the signal flow graph shows all these. What is servo mechanism? Servo mechanism is a feedback control system in which the output is mechanical position. So in this system, the output is mechanical position. What is transmittance? The transmittance is the gain the signal acquires when it moves in the signal flow graph from one node to an other node. Name the test signal used in control system. Test input control systems are impulse step ramp acceleration and sinusoidal signal. These are all the test signals. What is the mathematical model of a control system? Control system is the set of connected physical components to serve a goal. Differential equations govern the output and input relationship of different physical system. A control system's mathematical model is a collection of different equations 